Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best-selling author, and the only three-time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Do you want to become insanely successful? Do you want to be the go-to guru in your industry? Do you want to be talked about for all the right reasons? For over 40 years, Kevin Harrington has helped people just like you become significant influencers. Now he's broken the process down in the key person of influence roadmap, and it's yours for free. Just text KPI to him at 727-888-2100. Text KPI to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free step-by-step guide. Text KPI to 727-888-2100 to get the recognition you deserve and experience the success as the go-to voice everyone listens to in your industry today. Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast, Financial Services Edition. This is your host, Seth Green. Today, I have the good fortune of being with Joe Davis of I'mWithDavis.com. Joe, for the last 10 years, has helped thousands of customers maintain strong relationships with the insurance agencies they do business with, which we're going to get to, the part that's going to blow your mind in a minute. Um, And he has also helped hundreds of insurance agents do the same in reverse, which is probably what you would normally think. Joe coaches hundreds of insurance agents every day through various online trainings, private coaching, and mastermind groups. You can see him live at seminars, events all over the country. Um, Joe helps agents all the way from guys who are rookies just starting out to those of us who've been around for over 20 years like myself, and he is ready to help us learn more today. Joe, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Seth. Super excited and uh, appreciate it. My pleasure. Let's go back in time. I'm assuming that you started out as an agent. Is that correct? Yeah, I was fresh out of college, 21. A place called AIG was hiring in their call center for $12.50 an hour, which at 21, that was a lot of money. I was excited. So I uh, got there, did the call center thing, got my license, um, started an agency and kind of went from there. Okay, awesome. So you went to work for AIG answering inbound phone calls or making outbound cold calls or both? Yeah, inbound. It was inbound customer service. Ah, so, so you- yeah, we got all the fun ones uh, every day. And uh, it was it was an experience. I'll tell you what, it taught me a lot. Um, I'll be honest, that was probably a, a job I had the least tenureship with. I was there, I think I made it eight months. And I was just like, no, I can't do this. But an Allstate agent hired me um, as a sales producer and uh, stayed there for a long time till I bought my own agency. And then our congratulations. So you bought your own HE agency. How long ago was that? Uh, I bought the agency in 2014, so I was 27, 28, something like that. Okay, so you bought your own agency. How did you make the transition from buy, from being the owner operator of your own agency to being successful and then helping other agents and advisors do what you did? It was funny because it was almost like a forced hand type of thing. Uh, a lot of when you're a captive or exclusive agent, whatever you want to call them, the company has guidelines. Um, and so Allstate came to me and, uh, you know, I love Allstate. I, you know, I don't know if we're supposed to drop their name, but they've always been good to me. Great company to work for. Uh, and so they came to me and they saw, you know, my numbers I was putting up, I was breaking uh, territory records that have never been touched. And they asked me how I was doing it. And I said, here's how. And they asked me to put together a training process they could share with agents. Uh, and I always, I don't view competitors as like, you know, holding speakers from them. You help everybody. And so I put together like a mini training package about what I did. I gave it to them. The agents loved it. Well, I started getting calls from agents saying, hey, I love this stuff. You know, I'm willing to pay you to just help me further. I'm like, oh, all right. And who's going to turn down that opportunity? So I started doing that. Um, I'll I'll never forget. I uh, found, uh, you know, software ClickFunnels. And uh, ClickFunnels, I put together like this. It was horrible, Seth. It was awful. When come to market, like this awful landing page, awful, awful, like everything was wrong. But I sent one email out to my Allstate contact list. In two days, I remember off the, you know, that I made $25,000. And, wow. And, and I was like, all right, I have something here. Yeah, you bet you do. So I got better at it. And I started working, started selling, and more and more. 
Uh, and then finally, you know, the company came to me and said, Joe, I, I know you love what you're doing, helping agents out. You're still hitting your numbers in your agency. That's great, but you can't do both. It's against what they're No doing. outside business activity approval, yeah. huh? And you know that being a license holder. Uh, some companies more strict than others. So, you know, I had grown my agency at such a level that I said, well, you know, I really love this coaching and training. Like it just fulfilled something in me that was never there before. And so I decided, you know, let's go ahead and try to sell this book of business, make a good profit. And then, you know, my initial plan was I'll do this training for a couple of months until it runs itself dry. I'll take the money from the agency and I'll go get a corporate job somewhere and live happily ever after. That was the plan. So I sold it, made, made a good chunk of dollars. Um, and then I went into the training a couple of, and it just grew. And I've been doing it full time ever since. And it's over three years at this point. Um, and it's, it's been a fun journey. We all have our own journeys, right? And it was just, it's been fun. Entrepreneurship is, is tough at times. We know that it's stressful, but at least, you know, I only answer to one man uh, and it's me. And so I, I wouldn't trade that for anything. Congratulations. That's an incredible journey. We have a lot of similar parallels. So I also started coaching on the side of my financial services career. However, I'm a little bit older than you. We did not have ClickFunnels when I started. The, I had a one long form sales letter page built on GoDaddy's free website builder um, 15 years ago and didn't have a shopping cart, didn't have an autoresponder. It was literally a PayPal link because um, that's how we took money back then. And all they could do was buy or not leave the page. Mm -hmm. um, sold my first, I did not have $25,000 on my first day. I sold my, my first product was $499. Um, it was a, it wasn't video. We didn't have YouTube back then. It was a PDF course um, and sold my first one and then was off to the races. And then that started my coaching, consulting, and ultimately marketing firm that has grown to like 26 people. And so I totally resonate with you there. You had it a lot easier and that you had click funnels. We mm -hmm. did not. Absolutely. Um, and then I, I lucked out, went independent, left the Fortune 500 financial services company um, and found an independent that would let me have both. So I didn't have to sell the agency. I was able to do both at the same time, although obviously my, the amount of time I've got has dramatically shifted in favor of the marketing as mm -hmm. has yours. Mm -hmm. um, so congratulations on your awesome journey. Let's talk a little bit about that what are you finding are some of the biggest mistakes that the agents and advisors are coming to you with? And you're saying, Oh my God, this is what I can help you fix. I, there's a lot. The, the hot thing right now, as you well know, is getting a good digital marketing presence in an in industry that's not exciting unless you're in it. Right? So the base consumer insurance investment, that's all just snooze words. So, you know, it's how to... If you're ever on an airplane and you don't want to talk to the person sitting next to you and they start <laughs> talking to you, you tell them you're a life insurance agent and they shut up and leave you alone. That's right. It's better than lending a, a person $100. Or them. you tell them I'm an IRS tax auditor. How, <laughs> how's, how are your returns? Exactly. So, I mean, that's one of the biggest things. And, you know, the reality is we go into what I call in our business, foxhole marketing, where you're just throwing stuff out when you need a sale. And that's doing nothing for people. So uh, people know it's important. There's no doubt about that. But it's really having the, the tools to implement, right? Because so many people want the next shiny object. And so yes. they'll buy this. They'll buy that. And my stuff is game. Yeah, the knowledge is there. And, and that's great. And it does look nice and shiny at times. But all my stuff has implementation pieces. I've always broken my training into two sections, the training and implementation. So here's what to do. And here's exactly step by step how to do it. Um, you know, that's the one thing. And, and the other thing is there's this preconceived notion in our industry that you have to work 60 hours a week to, to have big numbers because that's what they were taught. They were taught going door to door and yep. cold calling is the way to go. When today you don't have to do that if you do it right. And I always joke, uh, you know, I always thought, you know, why are you working 60 hours a week? Could you imagine if someone like Henry Ford had Facebook? how much money would he have made and how many hours would he have had to work to equal that? And, and it wouldn't be 60, 70 hours a week. It's just being smart with your time. Um, and so implementation is a huge, huge thing. 
That's why just about every course I have, the, the, the higher ones, I always have one-on-one -on -one coaching that I do for every client because I, I want them to succeed. If, if they haven't made any progress, I didn't do my job. And so really it, it's a blanket answer, but implementation is maybe the biggest issue. Um, you know, we focus a lot, like I said, on the digital marketing side of things too. So let's talk about that because that is the holy grail, the sexiest thing out there right now for financial advisors who are tired of mailing out 10,000, 5,000, 50,000 mailers, trying to do a boring retirement asset allocation seminar at a hotel, buying everybody dinner at Ruth's Chris. Mm -hmm. every, every, everybody wants online leads for their seminar that actually show up. Mm -hmm. There's lots of people register via Facebook ads and then never come. There's obviously a ton of companies in that space purporting to offer, hey, we'll fill your seminar with face, but you only pay for the people who show up, whether it's Whites of Their Eyes Marketing or White Glove or any of those other companies that we won't name. Mm -hmm. um, so how have you figured out a way, how does your system work differently where it actually results in real quality leads? I would, don't yeah. tell us the secret sauce. Obviously, people got to pay you for that. But how would you position yourself as differentiating yourself from those other people out there? I'm taking them through the same journey I did. So I was an insurance agent that got into internet marketing, not an internet marketer that got into insurance. And that's a big difference, a uh, big difference. So I do the same thing. I come at them from the insurance, you know, financial advisor perspective, teach them internet marketing. And the biggest thing is I really hammer down lead magnets um, and good ones for our industry. And, you know, I'll give you a little bit of a secret sauce um, for your listeners. One of the best producing ones we we do daily is uh, any type of calculator for people. So a life insurance calculator, retirement calculator, which you can find for free everywhere and just link it up. Those lead magnets are, are hot and they don't trick people. People know exactly why they're there. They know exactly what you do. Uh, and we set it up so they know they're going to get contacted. But at that point, you've given them. So it's, it's the basic lead magnet principle. You've given them something of value. So now their time is valuable and they're going to give you some of that. It's so much better than, you know, you see ads out there. And I did this before for agents and I figured out it didn't work. You know, enter your name in for a gift card or drawing or whatever. You know, yeah, you're going to get names. You get a lot of names, but no one's going to talk to you. You know, and so giving that value and just figuring out, uh, depending on your niche, of course, exactly what to put out there is, is probably the best advice I give to generating leads online for agents and advisors. That makes a lot of sense. What are some of the, you know, my co-host on the Sharkpreneur Entrepreneur Show, Kevin Harrington, his question is always, what's the magical transformation? So give us an example of an agent or advisor that you worked with. You don't have to disclose their name if you don't want to. Um, relatively recently, where this is the problem they came to you to fix, this is what you did, and these are what the results were. Yeah, um, you know, I have an agent in Texas, and uh, older guy, and he's not shy about that. He's older. He's been around for a long time. That's one of the, at the beginning, he said, I work with everybody from no experience to a lot. He's been around like 32 years, uh, but he recognized he needed digital marketing. And he was kind of a shy guy, you know, in Texas. And I said, you know, uh, his name, first name's Terry. I said, Terry, we got to get you on video. I, I mean, you got a voice. You got that voice. And he's like, oh, I'm not into video. I don't want to do that, yada, yada. Um, and he made his first video. And the guy was so natural. And he has now run, um, you know, different referral campaigns and, and lead generation. And that aha moment of him, you know, going past the scared part of not wanting to ever be on video uh, into now it's the, the main source of his marketing, you know, he's been around for 32 years. So he could easily just pack up and say, you know what, I'll just sell it or I'll just take the residuals. But no, he's, he's making it work. Um, and just to see that now, one thing I taught him, and it's not a, a mind-blowing thing, but seeing the one thing I taught him, giving him a script, giving him some pointers, and seeing someone run with that, having success after doing it for so long and being successful, but even just growing it more and more, you know, at the end of the day, you know you did your job well. Um, you know, and that's somebody that just the first one that came top of my head uh, recently that's been really just killing it. That's awesome. Congratulations. Um, always good to hear actual results of real people getting real results, impacting, you know, the ripple effect. Obviously, he's helping people. You're helping him reach more people and get them to be helped. What do you like best about what you do? You know, honestly, it's it's the teaching part of it. It really is. Um, it's, you know, yeah, I could go out and I could make some digital products and 
sell them for 97 bucks and just get the reach out there. But I, I really, believe it or not, I never thought I'd say this, you know, when I was an agent. I actually enjoy talking to people on a daily basis and helping them, you know, because it's now I'm working with people that want help. They want results. And if you're working with somebody that's willing to do that, it, it's really fulfilling, um, you know, and also, you know, I am their accountability partner, but they, they're accountable you know, with me too. You know, they're my accountability partner. And, and, you know, I'm always very transparent and very honest. Uh, and I think a lot of people gravitate towards that. It's that concept of polarity that I've always kind of just kept with. Um, you know, they're attracted to, you know, what I do because I'm not going to just fluff it for them. I'm going to tell them what I think. And if, if they're not doing their job, you know, I have it happen all the time. I told you to do one thing for three weeks. You haven't done that yet. And now you're complaining you don't have results. Well, it's because you haven't done it. Um, you know, and people appreciate that more than they, they don't, I think. So that's probably my favorite part is, is the, the actual training and teaching portion. Awesome. With all the success you've achieved, what's your biggest challenge now? Um, I want to take it up to the next level, as we always all do, right? Um, I really, it's funny, when I was 11, I uh, was signed up forcefully into summer acting classes. And I actually was an actor for many years, actually. Before I owned my agency, I acted and did stand-up comedy. Uh, I always loved being on stage in front of people. And my next step, I really want to break through to that, um, you know, I do private events, private seminars and all that good stuff, but, you know, really just getting on stage uh, and sharing not just this story, my whole story, uh, because like a lot of people, I got a lot to say that I think could help, you know, a, a lot of people. So that's kind of the next step, um, trying to really get into that, you know, big event speaking type of gig, um, you know, motivation, I don't know what you call it anymore, but you know what I'm saying, that's, that's kind of where I want to be. Got it. Awesome. So professional platform speaker, presumably in the industry, helping reaching larger groups of agents and advisors at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Not, you know, I, I've done the rooms of 2030 and, and I love it. I really do. But I'm, I, you know, three, four, five thousand is, uh, you know, kind of the next goal. Awesome. Um, I could tell that obviously you'd be a natural for it. What are the, I mean, we're that you talked about wanting to be a platform speaker, um, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of weird. I don't do that five-year plan thing. I never have. Um, you know, I am, goal. Yeah, I am a goal. Yeah. Well, in three, yeah, in three months, I'd like to, uh, you know, really, I want to put this part of my marketing into just doing the, the training sessions and some digital programs, helping people, you know, coach them along. Um, and then I'd like, I eventually would love full time to, to be an on tour speaker. Um, I really would love doing that. And, you know, I look at, you know, one of my real early, early idols uh, was Paul Cummings, mm -hmm. um, who is just, it proves it daily with everything, just a, a positive guy. Um, and that's what I envisioned myself when I was 23, when I first got introduced to him. I said, that I want to do that someday. Um, and, and so if I had to pick one thing to do for the rest of my life, it'd be that. That's what I would want to do. Awesome. Well, we'll have, we'll help you get some practice in that department. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be great. What, um, for our agents and advisors who are watching this or listening to this and say, I want to learn more about how I can get that working in my business. Where is the best place for them to go to learn more about you? Well, just like I said, for the clients I work with, I want to give you value, you know, uh, so you understand that I do know what I'm talking about. So go right to my website, I'mwithdavis.com. I got a ton of videos. Uh, you can get in contact with me on there. Um, you know, obviously, you can get me on social media, but I'mwithdavis.com is the best place and has a lot of great free, valuable material. Uh, and if you're looking forever something specific, I'm sure I got a program for it. Let me know. I'm not going to sit here and list everything I got because we'd be on for another 10 minutes. But, um, you know, hit me up on that. And Joe at I'm with Davis .com is my private personal email. So you can, you can get me there too. Awesome. We greatly appreciate it. Anything else you want to share that I didn't think to ask you? Um, no, it's just, you know, whether you go with my stuff or somebody else, I don't, there's a lot of good trainers out there, a lot of good programs. If you're an agent and an advisor listening to this, whenever you buy something that's teaching or training, just do it. Don't, don't mess around with planning too long. Implement it. Implement it fast. Implement it quick. You can fix it along the way. But if you don't start, you're never going to be able to be successful. Amen. That is a writer down on right there, folks. This has been Seth Green, Sharkpreneur, Financial Services Edition with Joe Davis. 
imwithdavis.com. Make sure you go check out the site. He's got tons of free, awesome content there. Joe, thanks so much for joining us. Seth, thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate it. Our pleasure. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.